Hello people, this is George with yet another Call of Dragons video and today we are going to speak regarding best epic hero which we have currently uh, since the season 1. The Walder has been one of the best in general mage heroes in the game but for sure uh, in the epic section he is the best. Uh, in order for you guys to understand why I think that Walder is great and uh, even like legendary tier in my opinion, we need to understand what kind of uh, skills and the synergies uh, Walder have in his skill set. First of all, I need to tell you that uh, in order to awaken Walder, it's pretty easy. Uh, first of all, if you want Walder to be awakened as soon as possible, you can choose the faction uh, League of Orders. And for the League of Orders, Walder is the main uh, hero. Rather than that, you can choose Walder uh, for the daily quests, and you are going to get two uh, Walder token per day whenever you're gonna finish the daily quest. So I would highly recommend to unlock Walder uh, simply because he will help you to get experience killing Darklings, killing forts. Uh, PvP against enemy uh, legions in the battlefield, battlefield, participating in wars, uh, roots of war, so like uh, Dragon Trail, any kind of content in the game, Walder will be one of the best, right? Uh, I am going to the season uh, 4 soon, I guess, uh, and I am still using Walder, and I have seen that a lot of tier 5 players are using Walder. So, first skill, the main skill of the every hero, uh, deals damage to the target and the three nearby legions. So, already great start, uh, like you are dealing damage to three nearby legions. Also, you are inflicting gloom and freeze for three seconds. Gloom means like you are reducing at attack damage up to 20% and freezes march speed reduction to 20%. Uh, and also, like, uh, legendary heroes, um, first skill has, like, at least 1000 damage factor, but, but in general, for epics, 600-500 is normality, and Walder has 700, which is pretty nice. The second skill, all magic units in Walder Legion uh, gain 10% uh, attack bonus and HP bonus up to 10%. Normal skill, like at least every fighting hero has some kind of skill like this, right? Third skill, Walder's Legion deal 15% more hero skill damage. As you know, Walder is mage unit, a mage, uh, mage units and mage heroes uh, generally deal skill damage factor, uh, magic damage factor uh, damage, like using spells, so... Uh, skill damage increase is amazing for any kind of mage unit. Uh, the fourth skill is Icy Wings. When Walder takes hero skill damage, his legion receives a shield uh, up to 600 shield. Like you, you got your HP, you are getting shield, uh, so you will be kind of tanky, right? The awakening skill, as I said, it will be pretty easy to awaken. In a one single season, I think you can awaken any single uh, epic hero, right? Uh, after awakening, uh, wall deal deals damage to the target and three nearby legions, inflicting gloom uh, and the freeze for three seconds. Like you are getting more, uh, like uh, before awakening, you are dealing three nearby legions, right? And after two. Uh, Two, two legions, but whenever you're gonna awaken Walder, you're gonna be able to deal three uh, legions the same amount, and also damage is increased to 700. We need to mention that every single skill uh, in the Walder's kit is usable skit in, skills in the battlefield, which is pretty amazing. Amazing. There are, are no like peacekeeping or like a buffing skill. They are straight up fighting skills, such as, like shield, skill damage. Uh, a magic attack bonus, and you are dealing a damage to a lot of uh, he lot of uh, legions. The special uh, part of the Walder's kit is that you are dealing damage to three nearby legions. This is pretty rare. I like there is. I I think even legendary heroes doesn't have something like that, like in a in a such a extent. And this is what makes uh, Walder pretty unique. Uh, regarding like um, uh, if we're gonna speak more about like why these skills matter uh, the talent risk of the Walder is magic pvp skill which is basically 
uh, one of the best talent trees possible for for the mage hero uh, because you can we have a three gameplay three play style in this kind of talent tree right if like skills in general for magic heroes are amazing and you want if you want to deal as much damage as as possible with your skills you're gonna go straight up to the skill section right like maximum to the skill uh, and if you want to buff your magic units in your legion you're gonna choose magic tree and if you want to be mainly uh the pvp -er, uh, which means like you're gonna fight against enemy legions and you're gonna participate in wars uh, then i think uh, pvp build with the skill until the half will be amazing so like uh, generally as i as you just as i just said um, every every way uh, in this skill uh, in this uh, talent tree you're going to get amazing uh, profit amazing rewards uh, for your legion and i think any kind of talent tree in this um, uh, skill like uh, you're gonna choose skills it will be amazing if you're gonna choose pvp it will be amazing too if you're gonna choose magic it will be amazing that's why like generally uh Walder is an epic hero and it has such a thing that uh, even legendary hero does not have uh, of course like less damage uh, because it would it would be uh, like out of mind right but regarding like play style and regarding like unique abilities and unique features uh, Walder is one of the best uh, heroes in game in general, in my opinion. Uh, uh, like uh, you might ask a question, why I'm th I'm speaking such a high notes about Walder whenever there is a hero uh, such as Lilia, right, and people's favorite hero. But uh, honestly, I will say that. Uh, if you are not uh, spending a lot of money in this game, then uh, Walder is better than Lilia. Simply because in order for you to utilize the Lilia, you need to awaken Lilia. This is my opinion. Like score, score damage is better. Like you are dealing two nearby legions, fifteen percent, five seconds. Like in general, Lilia has the same kind of gameplay and play style. Like you are uh, dealing damage to a couple of legions, but uh, it's a timing damage. So like uh, especially Lilia has a peacekeeping talent tree and peacekeeping skill, which is like useless in my opinion. So uh, in general, I think Walder is pretty uh, good rather than Lilia. If you are not spending a lot of amount of money in this game and you if you have like Lilia 5555 and awakened of course Lilia is better but if not and if she is not awakened I think Walder has a much much better uh, playstyle like kit in general yes of course of course less damage but uh, Walder is dealing three new by legions damage right and this is pretty a lot so uh, I would still choose uh, Walder it's a bad thing that only you can get Lilia only by paying uh, even a one dollar in this game but uh, like I would prefer that every single hero would be accessible for for every type of uh, player but I think they uh, they made Walder in a way that Walder is even better than Lilia if you don't awaken her and uh, in general awakening legendary hero is pretty pretty hard uh, I'm, I'm a hundred percent free to play player and I don't have any single legendary heroes awakened and I am playing this game uh, since the beginning of the launch uh, launch so uh, Walder's a hero pairs is pretty obvious like he's unique because he can be played with anything any kind of play style with any kind of magic heroes first of all the main one in my opinion is Walder as a primary and uh, well in the secondaries it's my main mage unit um, main mage uh, legion uh, simply because there is like couple of synergies between them and I will say it easily uh, like Walder, Walder was applying uh, gloom and freeze and uh, Welling is applying uh, Freeze too, so even more uh, March Speed Reduction, um, like a 20% to Welling. Skill damage factor is of course high because Welling is a legendary hero. You are getting more skill damage uh, bonus, which is which is amazing. Um, like you are getting crits, and also this is amazing skill for the uh, mage units, which is like magic defense reduction. Like this is amazing skill in general, and of course. Uh, like whenever a rage, cast, rage skill is cast that is frozen and Walder is uh, giving the freeze to the enemy legion uh, you're gonna deal a 400 more damage of course if you awaken a welling but as I said uh, Walder will be amazing with any kind of magic heroes and even with Alwyn 
like it's a uh, one of the worst uh, uh, Wilder's pairs, but epic hero is epic hero, always interesting. You can, uh, in, in a worst case, uh, run with the Alwyn uh, Wilder, but uh, I think Wilder is a primary hero, is amazing because of the talent trees. Uh, if you have um, Lilia, you can even run Wilder with uh, Lilia, uh, honestly. But uh, in my opinion, uh, best hero pair for Wilder is Welin, uh, which is a pretty successful uh, hero pair. You are dealing a lot of damage, you are uh, standing still, you have HP, you have magic defense reduction. Both heroes are applying gloom and fear. Uh, Wilder is dealing damage to three legions, uh, Welin is freezing them, and uh, redu redu reduction the march speed is pretty amazing because you are dealing damage from the highest range right and whenever you are reducing the march speed of the enemy legions and you have the highest amount of range uh, you are in a good place and uh, in general in wars i have seen a lot of wilders with Welling, even tier 5 players not only tier 4 uh, now we can speak more regarding artifacts and as always whenever we are speaking artifacts i'm going to altar and i'm speaking only about artifacts which any player can get through the chests and uh, here are always like obvious choice one of the best uh, artifact for mages to get through the altar is phoenix eye uh, straight up damage uh, artifact, magic unit attack, bonus, legion attack, and uh, you are the skill is amazing. You are using if you gonna put this skill to the up to four legions, you're gonna deal to this four legions up to 2000 skill damage, right? That's the minimum. I did not like level one burst attack, amazing artifact. If you got it, uh, you should be happy uh, regarding the Phoenix Eye. Uh, more defensive artifact is Tear of Arbon, Magic Unic Defense and Legion Defense, and the healing, uh, uh, like quite popular artifact in general in wars especially uh, because a lot of people are standing in the same position and uh, there is like a lot of benefits uh, whenever you are healing the your alliance member and yourself uh, while fighting the enemy um, other than that like as i said the uh, uh, phoenix size is the best uh, as a like uh, pvp artifact a tier of arbon is the best utility magic uh, artifact uh, but like there is like of course a staff of property which which I would not recommend to use on Waldir. I know you are getting magic unit HP and legion HP, but uh, like as I said, even uh, epic artifact is better to use on a magic uh, a hero, which is a magic bomb. It's like a lesser version of Phoenix Eye in my opinion. Uh, you are dealing damage to three nearby legions. But uh, damage is also less. Uh, I have four level time bomb and uh, 1,500 damage factor on the epic uh, uh, artifact. Uh, the attributes is magic unit attack and legion attack, which is uh, the best attributes for the magic hero. So, like uh, other, I wouldn't recommend to put uh, other artifacts on the Wilder. Phoenix Eye is the best if you want more utility tier of Arbon. Uh, and uh, other than that, magic bomb will be amazing if you don't have legendary artifact on your uh, major uh, hero. In general, I have already done a one-by-one -one guide regarding every single um, war pet, and you can check it on my channel. But um, like any magic uh, hero pet will be great with Waldir. Uh, one and obvious choice uh, is like uh, Sef Sapphire Fair Drake, uh, because uh, Sapphire Fair Drake has pure damage in his uh, kit. Pain Bloom is a damage uh, he a skill. Also, Ice Lizard will be great, which I currently don't have. Uh, Ice Lizard is dealing damage to a couple of legions with the Ice Orbs and even the style of the ice uh, warpet and Waldir and Welling is like suitable to each other, right? Also, new uh, hero, uh, Shadow of Drake is like new, like Bertrand's uh, uh, warpet, but you can use it on your on Waldir because it's a major uh, uh, warpet, right? Uh, this is all I wanted to speak regarding Waldir. I know I have already did Waldir guide like... Uh, six or seven months ago and uh, simply because Walder is still very very popular in this game uh, I decided to take it another chance and to tell you guys that even in the late of uh, such a seasons like um, I'm finishing season three already in couple of days I think 
uh, and I'm still using Woldir. I'm a 100% free-to-play player. Um, you can see I have really a feature here. That means I did not even pay $1 in this game. Somehow I managed to get to the 27 million power. So trust me, guys. This is like I know for sure that Woldir will be one of the best investments for you to awaken him as soon as possible. Uh, because you can use him in many different hero pairs, you can use it, uh, him in many different aspects of the game, such as wars, such as roots of war, such as farming the darkling, um, and like in general, great, great hero. Uh, so if you like the content, um, press the like button, uh, subscribe. Um, I'm gonna continue doing what I have been done over these past seven to eight months. Um, and see you soon, yep, like soon we're gonna enter to new season and then gonna be a lot of content in general in the game. Uh, thanks for watching, um, uh, see you soon, bye bye.